Vikings was an unlikely success for History Channel. Debuting in 2013, it was the channel's first stab at a scripted dramatic series, and it's proven to be a bona fide hit. Fans of the series have become especially devoted to Catherine Winnick's portrayal of the shield maiden Ligurtha, a potent central figure in the Vikings verse, as Entertainment Weekly puts it. The character has been pivotal, and it's hard to imagine anyone but Winnick bringing this passionate, strong, and complicated character to life. However, things were not always easy for the actress, who opened up to fans via Instagram in December 2019 about the physical and emotional challenges of playing her character. The toughest scene in the show for Winnick had nothing to do with gruesome executions or deadly power grabs. It was a combination of three foes as old as time itself, weather, water, and weight. When a fan asked which scene was toughest to shoot, Winnick posted this picture and replied, This one was tough, swimming in the freezing water with pounds of armor on. A little detective work reveals that the icy scene in question likely comes from Season 3, Episode 9, the aptly titled Breaking Point. Winnick's final day on the Vikings set in Season 6 presented another weather-related challenge. She told TV Guide, we had a medic on set and he was checking us to see if we would go into shock because your body would literally be frozen. And we'd get into this little hot box to warm up and then go back out and shoot because it was a very, very intense shoot in below zero temperature. Period dramas are notoriously tough on actors who must endure unwieldy costumes, animals, weaponry, and often filming conditions that are almost as primitive as the times they seek to depict. Vikings is certainly no exception. It follows, then, that the cast for such a show should not only be qualified dramatic actors, but also physically prepared. For her part, Winnick is not only a trained actor, she's also a highly skilled and accomplished martial artist. Vanity Fair reports that she holds a third-degree black belt in Taekwondo and a second-degree black belt in Karate. Not content to simply study and excel, by the time she was 21, Winnick owned three martial arts studios, all while completing a degree in kinesiology, aka the study of movement, at York University in Ontario. Like the core story of Vikings, the inspiration for the character of Ligurtha was taken from Norse mythology. Specifically, she appears in the 13th century writings of Saxo Grammaticus. At least twice, according to Saxo, Ligurtha is directly responsible for battlefield victories of her husband Ragnar. Saxo wrote, Though a maiden, she had the courage of a man and fought in front among the bravest with her hair loose over her shoulders. All marveled at her matchless deeds, for her locks flying down her back betrayed that she was a woman. With real-world physical abilities far beyond most, Winnick was able to authentically embody her character's fearless warrior attitude, even in the face of death. We've not walked this work. Tonight, I'll sit with my beloved Ragnar in the halls of the gods. That certainly sounds more comfortable than wearing soaking wet chainmail in freezing conditions. Given the physically demanding nature of acting on Vikings, it's no wonder Winnick became interested in directing which she did, returning after her character's death to helm the episode Valhalla can wait. The return was a difficult experience in itself, as Winnick showed up on set to prep for her directorial debut at an awkward time, during the filming of Ligurtha's funeral. She told TV Guide, To see a prosthetic me lying there in the boat and all these hundreds of actors who are mourning over Ligurtha, it was just so surreal. I felt like I was watching my own funeral. I actually had to leave. It was too emotionally hard for me to stay for that, so it was definitely something that I'll always remember and cherish. Vikings has remained a solid performer for history throughout its tenure, with rich storytelling that didn't flinch when it came to brutal honesty about a brutal period of European history. Battles, torture, drugs, ambition, and cultural archaeology all combined to create a sense of time and place rarely equaled in television. But all reigns must end. The series will wrap up in 2020 after six seasons, 89 episodes, and a whole lot of fake blood and guts. For those who haven't had enough, Netflix will soon be home to a sequel series, Vikings Valhalla, set 100 years after the original. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite movies, TV shows, and more are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.